Okay, so let's go through the answers. A can't be right. B could be right. It's perfectly acceptable to return I for a question about the square root of minus one, assuming that we're working in a domain of complex numbers. C is probably an acceptable result as well. Not a number is often returned for numerical queries in, floating point, in the floating point domain that have no good actual answer. D is also most likely a good answer, throwing an exception. E is not a good answer. Minus one can never be the square root of minus one. And crashing the machine is probably never a good, um, probably never good response. So the answer is some combination of B, C, and D. And so again here, what's happening is just running a simple test case is forcing us to think about the specification for the software under test. And this, in fact, this is really, really common that as soon as we start testing a piece of software, we start to really have to think about what the software is actually supposed to be doing. And this is a good thing. So often, when we're testing software, we're not so much just looking for bugs in the software, but we're helping to refine the specification for the software under test.